Welcome to another episode of the Professional Triers, where we talk about minis again, which we're trying to do this every other week also. And today we have John and Jordan with us, who just came back from the Cheesehead Mini. No, no, no. the Minnesota <laughs> Mini. <laughs> that is the most clever name in the world. Where did that name come from? Well, um, years ago, it was... Minnesota, and then we just kind of changed it to Ta because we get so much snow here, so it's Minnesota. I can attest to that. Uh, we uh, Christmas of Color do do a show there uh, down the street in Minnesota, so um, yeah, the, you do get a lot of snow. I, I agree with that. Yeah, <laughs> I can attest to that firsthand. <laughs> so we we do this show about minis to make people go to minis and to say how cool they are and. All the cool stuff that happens at them. Jordan, I can't believe you. This is all right. This is our new background. We're trying it. And Jordan is like on point with making sure he looks at me when I talk, <laughs> even though we're not in the same room. <laughs> that's how Jordan is. He's pretty awesome. Stop I looking at me. I was Jordan. Up. I'm looking the wrong way. Sorry, what, JR? <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to have fun with this too on this episode. But let's. So, if you're listening. You're really missing out. You got to watch it. Yeah, Jordan. Like all in the same room. <laughs> so keep going. Don't let me distract you. Tell us, tell us a little bit about how this mini started and how many people you guys had there and what made you guys have a mini. Well, we've been doing the mini for several years now. Uh, my first one that I attended was probably. 2003, four, somewhere in there. And it used to rotate from house to house. Um, and then there was probably a handful of people at that time, eight to 10 people. Um, it got to the point that it was, I felt it was my turn to host. Um, I had it at my house um, that year. We met with, at the time, we didn't realize there was two separate groups growing in Minnesota. Ryan Casper Cook had a group down in kind of southern Minnesota, and then we were up in the metro, and he contacted me and said, hey, we got a Facebook page. I didn't know you guys were there, and we didn't know he was there, so we joined up, and we jumped from eight people to 16 people that year, um, and then each year afterwards, we've been growing mm, probably between five and six people a year, and then this year, we had a big jump. Uh, last year, we had 21 in attendance. And this year we had, uh, I think it was 41. Wow. Nice. Yes. Oh, Jerry, I can't hear you. I muted myself. That's a pretty good size <laughs> mini right there. Yep. <laughs> it is. Yeah, we were real happy with it. That's cool. So you um, had a Jordan fly out. How many, how many people did you have from out of town this year? Um, we had a couple people from Wisconsin and Iowa. Um, we've had in the past, a few years ago, Ron Howard came out to see us. Uh, last year, David Spaulding came out to see us. And then this year, Jordan came to see us. It's kind of weird because I was like the, the honored guest. <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw your Marco Polo, Jordan. I, I, I do uh, like that you were rocking the pajama shirt. Oh, yeah. You know, I go to these minis and I, I come wearing like a nice professional shirt and I just don't feel comfortable. So I went and, and an hour into it, I changed into my pajama shirt and the rest is history. Like it was a great meeting because of that. I had a great time. The sad thing is I've seen that shirt out in pu public lots of times. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that my wife has a matching one. I, I, oh, that's nice. I have the same set too. I'm not going to, I'm not making fun of it. I'm just saying. <laughs> um no i was i was amazed by the attendance i think uh right at the beginning of the day i counted what 30 36 38 people and you said 41 earlier um what i love about that size of a mini is it, it feels just so intimate you know it's just not so many people and so overwhelming like the classes were just all very face to face and i didn't you know it, it's just a, a different thing going to like these these uh, enormous minis versus you know a very intimate setting where I wasn't ashamed to ask questions or get to know people or things like that. So it was it was a perfect size, um, and I think that you had a fantastic turnout. Yeah, we were oh. real happy with the amount the attendance. 
Um, and the venue was great. Uh, tell us about your venue. Uh, yeah, that was the first time for this year. I was, um, I had kind of a hard time trying to find a place because everything was booked up or we were short on days um, that we could choose from when we wanted it. Um, and I just happened to come across this one. I went out and talked to them. Um, it was uh, Legion in St. Michael, um, and they let us use the room no charge. Uh, they We had several choices for type that we could have a taco bar, a barbecue bar, or a hamburger bar. Um, so we had just nice. different choices we could choose from. And so, it, yeah, it worked out really nice. They had a little separate seating area so we could allow people to sit in there. Uh, big screen TV, so everybody hooked up their presentations. A few yep. people on Zoom. Actually, uh, Ron came, and he was he was on Zoom, and he was the only person on Zoom, right? Uh, yes, he was the only one this year on Zoom. That's cool. Very That's cool. That's the, the cool thing about Zoom, too, is like you may have a small meeting anywhere, but you could have all these people that are well-known for teaching stuff be able to help, and that makes minis pretty awesome. Yeah, well, and Ron's class also was very interactive. There's a lot of questions and he could hear the questions because it was, you know, a very intimate setting. So, yeah, no, that's, that's a good size mini right there. And actually, I bet you everybody walked away with actually learning something, you know? Yeah. Yeah. We had several new people that attended and they said they were happy. They learned something and we had some of our veteran decorators there that. Can you go through the classes that you offered as it was just a single setting, I'm assuming. Yeah, so this is just setting. Yep. Uh, we went through uh, a P5 panel build. Um, we did uh, one of our newest vendors, which is local here, um, Pixel Paradise. They showed some of their products they were coming out with. Um, uh, can I pause you on that one? Uh, yep. Some of our door prizes were by Pixel Paradise, and he yes. made these little, uh, they almost looked like toothbrushes. And they were just, there's a bunch of them sitting there. So I, so I grabbed one, I brought it home and I, we were going through the office around the office yesterday, trying to figure out what these toothbrushes were and nobody could figure it out. So I pinged John this morning and I said, John, what are these? And he had to explain them to me. Go ahead, John. Yeah, they, uh, they ended up being, cause I didn't know what they were either. And I asked Dave, like, what are these? <laughs> if it's free, I'm going to take one, you know. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, your they pockets. Were, they, it was the uh, clean heads on a 3d printer. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, yeah. See, I'd have never known that. Yep. <laughs> I, but, I made the joke to John. All of us lost. Nobody got it. So, <laughs> But, yeah, we had uh, Ron Howard talk to us about submodeling. Uh, Jordan did projection mapping. Uh, we had uh, Eric did um, singing faces. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. I'm missing somebody in there. Oh, we did talk about Remote Falcon. Oh, that presentation was fantastic. Yeah. Very informative. Yeah. Oh, since we got two people here, John, what was your favorite class? Um, it would, I, I would almost have to say the projection mapping because I've been interested in it and didn't really exactly know how it worked, <laughs> but it was, it was interesting to me to see that. <laughs> Um, George is I, like, oh my god, that means they're going to have to teach it again. <laughs> <laughs> um, quick side note on that: I I have a, a I couldn't bring like a big house to to demo it. So <laughs> I have this little this little like face. It's a lawn ornament that I steal off my neighbor's uh, fence. So every once in a while, it'll just be missing for two or three days, and I don't think he even notices that it's been gone doing that for right. like so years. now jordan for, for a jordan while. is so, stealing now no, so every time that i bring it down. through in my suitcase i also packed a projector in my suitcase it always gets pulled off to the side so to <laughs> preempt it um i pulled this this face out and put it like in the tray a tray by itself and the tray still got pulled out like they see some weird things, but like this face lawn ornament thing, like yeah. I must be smuggling something. So I have to like, like explain to them, like, why do you have all these electronics and wires and this face? <laughs> because they know it's stolen property. Yeah, right. That, that's they knew it. you oh, steal it from your neighbor. And then the problem the last is that four years you've been stealing went, that thing. I went to return it, and my neighbor's tearing down his fence. 
So he, he's putting like more posts and in, in supporting it. So I don't have a chance to put it back up there. So he's definitely noticed that it's missing this time. <laughs> so, so you haven't put it up a week I haven't later put it now? Up because he's like actively like working on that 10 feet of fence that it goes he, on. So he's <laughs> so like, he oh, Jordan, hard my thing. I'm going to fix this section of fence. <laughs> It'll be like, so I should hey, Jordan, go, have you seen? <laughs> I should probably go return it. No, I think that he knows because I asked a long time ago, hey, can I borrow this? you know, on a perpetual loan for two or three days at a time. So I think that he might know that I have it, but I should probably go give it back. Oh, that's funny. So Jordan, what was your favorite class? Um, I think the remote Falcon was. Um, I think it's fantastic and it has a lot of potential. Yes. Um, for those work. of us who don't know, can someone explain in 10 words or less what remote Falcon is? Well, you went to the class. You went to the class, Jordan. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if I can explain it though. I was taught by a 14 year old, so I don't want to... <laughs> like you know how I feel about Falcon. I mean uh SPP. Uh-huh. I'm I'm <laughs> I love that you uh, look at me. How do you, how do you feel, JR, about FPP? <laughs> I love it that you're looking at me and I have to look at my refrigerator to talk to Jordan. <laughs> Oh, well, this is going Go downhill. Well, maybe John paid attention in class. Jordan said it was his favorite, but he doesn't know anything. <laughs> well, I personally don't use it, but my understanding of it is uh, when you have somebody come up in front of your house, uh, they can go on your website that you've set up through Remote Falcon, and they can choose their own songs that they want to listen to. Kind of like a like a jukebox type. You can set up, yeah. yeah, like a jukebox voting. Or just enter the next playlist, but it has yeah. a lot of cool features. It has, you know, a lot of because it'll uh, it'll stack up the playlist. So mm -hmm. whatever song is is next on, <laughs> so you can start. It up. <laughs> You're killing me! <laughs> oh man, I think technology is going to kill Brian. He oh my gosh, this is too much. talk. <laughs> I went too far. Don't move out of your box, Brian. I know. I got to stay in my box. Because <laughs> that's the downside of this new thing. Like, I'll lose my arm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Brian, what were you saying? I don't even know now. <laughs> Shit. Wrong way. <laughs> no. Um, John, welcome to Professional Triers. Yeah, can you Good to have you. This is normal for us. We, Good to have you. No. <laughs> we try. We try. <laughs> so it'll play the regular playlist that you have set up for that night. And then when somebody goes in and selects a certain song, it'll finish the last song that is currently playing. And then it'll throw in the song that was selected, correct? Yes. And then after that song, if nobody else has selected anything, it'll continue on with the regular playlist. So there's no delay or anything like that. But if a, an onlooker shows up and like, man, I really love his, his uh, Star Wars one, you know, they can go into it, select that. It'll play after the song that's playing and then move on. So it is a really cool... What's the word I'm looking for? Really cool know. software or uh, an interactive? I guess it would be like an show. app. Yeah. For it. I don't know what Jordan's doing, but he was touching his computer. <laughs> <laughs> I like it when Jordan talks because then I can watch baseball. So go ahead, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what other unique things should we uh, explain about what happened at your mini? Um. Uh, the, my big takeaway was the uh, the politeness of everybody there. They were just so nice. Wait a minute. The guy from Utah is talking about politeness? I tell else? you, everybody was just, they were so nice and polite. Quick example, I was sneezing, and every single sneeze that I had, somebody different in the room was, bless you, every single time. <laughs> it's the Minnesota nice. That's no, but they, they awesome. were just, just so nice. So, um, what's the word? Courteous. Um, 
hospitable. I was going to say hostile. That's not the right word. <laughs> no, that's not. It that would be the opposite of. <laughs> that's other minis. So, it, it, yeah. it really was. Uh, it, it was great. I'm, I'm so glad that I went. Met so many people. Just had a, had a great time. Um, nice. There was also a, a very good uh, showing of vendors there. And you had uh, quite the, the showing of raffles, John. Yeah. Yeah, the vendors have always been good to us, even from when we were small. Um, and I... A lot of participants, yes, that's what they really look forward to. Probably more so than the classes, but uh, yeah, the, all the vendors have been really gracious to us. Nice. Um, so what was the, the, uh, the biggest prize somebody won? <clears throat> I would say probably the biggest prize came from your Pixel store. Uh, they gave us a P5 enclosure to give away. Oh, wow. Wow, yeah, That's nice. a big prize. Yeah. It is. Yeah, that's, it was uh, two by three, held six panels in it. Wow, that's a that's a big prize. Yeah, I, I nice. was surprised. They told me they when they sent me the tracking numbers and said this is what we're sending you. It's like wow, did not expect that. <laughs> yeah, no, that's big, and that's yeah. another reason people should start going to minis and go to more often because like oh, some of these also, vendors, you'll get some big cool stuff and you'll oh, learn stuff. The, and the smaller the mini, the better, because you get proof. sometimes multiple things. Um, yep. Okay, so I got a bunch of pixels, so thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You won um, pixels? I did win pixels, yeah. I have, you know, I use a few of those. Yeah. That's funny. That's awesome, though. <laughs> Why is that so funny, JR? It's not all projection <laughs> mapping. <laughs> I thought you just did projection mapping. <laughs> no. I do pixels, too. Okay. <laughs> It's no fair. Jordan's got notes on where everybody's sitting. So he does, he has post-its. <laughs> I just now know to look at the refrigerator. <laughs> well, see, um, John and JR, yours are the easiest, because if anyone talks, you just look one way. Yeah. I just like, I actually have to think page. about it. Um, also, the screens that we're looking at um, is opposite of where you're actually sitting, so it makes things kind of confusing. Yeah. So I have notes. Yeah. That's normal for Jordan. Jordan, yeah. keep going, because we're at the bottom of the eight, so... Jesus Christ. It's getting intense. <laughs> Ryan's so oh. professional in these things. I didn't turn it. Hopefully it wasn't on. I didn't turn it down all the way. Um, well, I can't hear it, so you're good. Oh, so, okay. so quick story on the, uh, the Minnesota niceness. Um, I flew in. I got in at about midnight on Saturday morning at 1230-ish. Got to my hotel at 1 o'clock. At 105, their computer system went down. And it stayed down for routine daily maintenance until 2.30 a.m. The airport? Hung out in the lobby for an hour and a half. No big deal. And the guy was just overly nice and apologetic about it. He's like, yeah, it just it does this every single night. If you come any time past one, you have to sit here and wait until 2.30. I can't check you in. Like, ah, wow. that's a bummer. But it's not your fault. Like, it's, you know, the server guy is much, you know, farther up the thing. So uh, I got an email yesterday of saying, hey, how was your stay? You know, just a just a generic survey. And everything was great, but I left a comment in there like, hey, like somebody should probably look into this because it's not the first time it happened. Happens, like it happens every night, and anybody that comes between this hour and a half block has to has to wait. Again, no big deal. I'm happy to do so. Um, so then this morning on my way to work, I get this call and I'm like, oh, it's the you know, such and such hotel. And the lady's like, Hey, so I heard you had the a, a, a not perfect experience. Okay, what hotel calls you, first of all? You know, she was wow. just and she, she just, you know, talked me through it and she's like, okay, well, I want to make it better, you know, back to you. So I'll give you, I'll give you a discount. Just here's my name. Here's my number. The next time you come back here, like, I'll give you, I'll give you a discount on your stay because of your inconvenience. Well, Jordan's that's, coming again. That's, just, that's a Minnesota go. for you. <laughs> that's what I heard. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm coming again. <laughs> Sounds like he's already booked for next year. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, but, yeah, maybe. <laughs> um, I'd love to come back. It works so, out. It was really a great, a great little mini. What is the biggest thing you learned at this mini, John? The biggest thing I've learned? Yeah, either about running it or something you learned in one of the classes or anything. Um, I don't know if I could put any one thing on it. I Usually the day of the mini, just kind of watching everything and see how things are going. I get kind of immersed in it that everything just kind of comes together so I, I really can't pinpoint one thing um if i did i i would have to say it's just having everybody all together 
and talking the Christmas lights and that. I, that's probably my favorite part of it. Now, you had a, I'm going to call it a Friday night mixer. You had a mixer before the actual mini the night before, correct? Uh, no, we did not. That uh, that thought had never crossed my mind before to have something or put something. In. And we had two different people ask, hey, are we getting together Friday night too? And uh, <laughs> I, I think that's going to have to be something. I planned something Saturday after the mini. Mm -hmm. uh, we got together at one of the local craft brewery bourbon places in town. Oh, cool. Um, but never thought about trying to put something together the day before. So that'll oh, be something we'll look into for next year. Yeah, I've actually never been to a mini that had something after. That's kind of cool, though, too. It was fun. And we you watched the Ducky Derby live. Oh. Yeah. Up on the screen. That was pretty cool. That's cool. Yeah. Got to be. So, did the brewery have good beer? Yeah, the best. <laughs> yeah. Jordan's a beer expert. <laughs> coming coming from the multi. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the yeah, sampler. They, they multi -sampler. had a few of the local uh, breweries in town and then some of the. The big name ones. Um, I think their main thing is that they, they're kind of a bourbon bar. They're supposed to have all kinds of different types of bourbons there. And Well, that's cool. Wow. Very cool. So, Jordan, what was your uh, favorite thing or the thing you learned? Um, I think my favorite thing was the friendliness of everybody. That you said that three times, I'm assuming so. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the thing I learned the most about was uh, Remote Falcon because it has a very, you know, real life application for a project I'm doing coming up. Ooh. So I had a meeting a, a day before about a client wanting exactly that. So I was asking. Nice. I learned how to do it. Yeah. So very I mean, cool. you can't go to these minis without, you know, learning just a ton of stuff. I love them so much. Mm -hmm. You know, they're pretty awesome. I think everybody should attend at least one mini oh yeah whatever's closest yep. you know if you're not into traveling a night you know some places are two nights but it's i mean the people you meet from that area is just it's an it's an unreal experience it's awesome so we've kind of been around the block a little bit and we kind of know where the different minis are if you don't know where the minis are where can you find where they are or how to find one X Lights uh, official support group. There is a, and I believe it's pinned with a complete list of all of the known minis. Uh, Any known dates and uh, maybe like a link, a website or a Facebook page or something like I that? I don't think, I think some of them have, don't they, JR? Don't they? Don't they some do, of them I have? I think there's a website now. I'm almost positive there's a mini website now. Minilocator.org. Is it that? Are no. you serious? No. Oh, I was getting ready to Google yeah. it. <laughs> well, whatever the website is or what it is, we will have the link in the video. I'll find it. Either you it's better. the link to the list in the X-Lights form or the actual website. But I think Ken made a website for minis. Oh, that does sound familiar. Yeah. So, yes, there will be a list. I'll have a list of the known minis and stuff like that. So you guys doing it again next year? Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, already. Uh, I think we're going to try for the weekend prior to Mother's Day because um, we were limited on dates this year. It ended up falling, but I want to try to move it to the weekend before. Um, have it at the same day. I think we can get sneak one more year out of that venue and then we'll have to change again. Yeah. Nice. But that's cool, though. That's that's cool. There's more people in your local community getting into the lights and yeah. then you have more people to help you per se yeah. like if something goes wrong you you got neighbors now for, yeah in your area oh, yeah. that can help you the, out the networking is great i mean i see on our facebook page where somebody can't get something working or actually i it just happened to me a few years ago um a rabbit chewed through one of my connections that i had thought i had a box of them i didn't have a box and somebody local to me said, hey, John, I got these extras. You can just have them. So I was able to get back up and running right away. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. And that's what's cool, too. You go to these minis, and then you get to meet all these people and be close. And then, you know, then you have a relationship with them. So when something happens, you have a bunch of friends to call. Yep. Yeah. Like, I call Jordan when I need help. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
<laughs> and vice versa. Yeah, it, no, the community is great, though. It, it really is. Yeah. Um, and, you know, one of the main reasons that I w went is exactly, as you said, to, to network, because we do have a show out there, and it's the, you know, something breaks down and we need a part or something like this, you know, just having some kind of recognition in the community goes a long way. Oh, yeah. It's, it's hey, let's help you out so hopefully you know po potentially down the road if i need help you know the favor is easier to return yep i got jokes for you jordan but i'm not going to <laughs> <laughs> they're what they're way nicer than your utah people it sounds like so they're they're pretty nice people yeah, yeah. i don't think you'll have any problems if something happens <clears throat> getting help over there they seem very cool um, can I give a shameless plug for the Utah Mini? Only if I can do one for the Montana Mini. Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. You first, Brian. Oh, I'm not ready. Um, oh, okay. So it's uh, top of the ninth. No, um, August 20. <laughs> oh, shoot. August 20. <laughs> what did JR, what did I say? Help me. Um, go ahead, Jordan, while he gathers. <laughs> <laughs> Always um, showing up. 27th. August 27th, we are going to do a Friday night mixer at the famous, and it's the fifth noted, the best fifth best bar in the United States at the Sip and Dip. Google it. Uh, a couple years ago, it was. Uh, they got mermaids swimming and stuff. So we're going to do a Friday night mixer there on the 26th. 27th is going to be the mini. And then just like John did, we're going to do a dinner at Montana Club with whoever wants to join uh it's just basically a montana steakhouse so wow look at that a pre-event an event and then an after event you gotta have the follow-up of it wow. if you can't make the first one make the second one and we try to keep it or well me uh try to keep it as montana as possible so we have mountains all the way around Great Falls. We're just not in the mountains like we wanted, but the hotel rooms were crazy expensive there because it's still peak season. So, peak season for what? For travelers, because we were originally going to have it down in Canada by oh, you would not believe the tourists that come in. Uh, we were going to originally have it down by um, Yellowstone National Park. Oh, oh that's in the mountains the there, we had a setting, but. The hotel rooms were over 300 bucks a night. Well, that's because there's a TV show about it. Well, and they just had an earthquake <laughs> two days ago. That's because it's filmed on the other side of the mountains over oh. that way. Oh, shoot. That way. <laughs> <laughs> Towards the ball game or away from the ball game? Yeah. <laughs> so, Jordan, would you like to give a plug to the uh, Utah Mini? Um, Ryan. We're going to do it on July 30th in Lehigh, which is maybe 20 minutes south of Salt Lake. Come on down. Same place? Uh, it will be the same place, yeah. Awesome venue. Yeah, it was a, a great venue. Waterfall. We do have a waterfall, yeah. It's in big, big P panels. Big P. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is. So we, yeah, we, <laughs> um, yeah, we can put a logo up on the big P panel. It's a big P panel. It's uh, yeah. a waterfall inside. The waterfall kind of smells like Pirates of the Caribbean. A little bit. Mm -hmm. The the ride. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What else? Pirates of the Caribbean <laughs> has a scent. No. The movie. Sure. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> um, and then we'll do some activities. Maybe an escape room. We'll do a dinner the day before. Are we actually going to do an escape room this time? Oh geez. Yeah, I booked it for the wrong day. Either that, or they <laughs> put it down for the wrong day because we all got there and they're like, "You're not." Jordan Nash, are you? And I'm like, yeah, I am. And they're like, oh, you have it tomorrow. And I'm like, well, that's not going to work. We have a mini. He's like, well, sorry, guys, you're out of luck. So, so hey, you fly into Salt Lake? Lake. You were right oh, away. sorry. Yeah, she fly into Salt Lake to go to the Salt Lake. Yep. Well, I just want to I wanted to make sure. I got to get all the info to the travel agent. Are you coming? Yeah. Well, I really want to. Awesome. I get... I get three more. <laughs> three more trips I'm trying to make this year. So oh wow. See I don't you. I don't have a mini planned yet. But the SoCal mini is happening and it's gonna be pretty fun. 
in August at some yeah, point. Looking forward to that one. 16th, August 16th yeah. or 14th. I keep covering Jordan's face when I bring up the calendar, so hang on. I don't know. June, July, August 14. Yeah, 14. No, that's that's no, a Sunday. No, 13, sorry. 13th. 13. Thir Saturday the 13th. Yeah. So. Yeah. I think we covered everything. Is there anything else that we missed? No, in short, yeah. it, was, it was a great trip. Very glad that I went. Uh, John, thank you for putting all that together. It's it's awesome that people like you uh, volunteer so much of your time and putting it all together and getting raffles. And you know, I'm sure you have a great committee that helps you out. So thank you for all you do for the community. Thanks, Jordan, for taking what I was about to say. Sorry, they are. They are. <laughs> yeah, jeez, but yeah, John, <laughs> like Jordan was saying, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Thank you for putting on a mini. That's a great thing to do for the community and bring everybody together and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Well, we, thanks. I don't mind doing it. I mean, it's a lot of fun and getting everybody together to talk Christmas lights. And thank you for the door prizes that we were able to get away. Oh, no. That's <laughs> um, we did get a chance to watch X Lights Around the World, and there's uh, quite a few Minnesota homes in there. Yep. Which is awesome. Yeah, actually, there were the few that we seen. We weren't even sure who they were. So it's uh, there's other people in Minnesota that, that don't know. That yeah. <laughs> no kidding. kidding. I like how Jordan like got all small after I called him David Peace or chilled in. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, and thank you for being on the show. We really appreciate it for you coming on here and talking about your mini and kind of telling everybody what happens at minis and. Maybe some of the people you guys saw in the X Lights Around the World video will see this and be like, oh, I didn't know there was a mini there. Yeah, hopefully so, so. We'll put the link to their Facebook group. So if you are in that area and you didn't know they existed, we'll have the link to their Facebook group in the post for this. And that way you could go to the next mini. Mm -hmm. Can you say the, what town did you have it in or city? Uh, we had it in St. Michael. St. Michael? What airport would that be closest to? Uh, probably the biggest one in Minneapolis. The Twin City. Yeah. What the heck is it? I don't Twin remember City what it's called. International Airport, I think it's called. Nice. So, yeah, oh. if you don't live right there, but you have don't have it, that could be your closest mini. Go mm -hmm. check it out. Yeah, we are, we're welcome to anybody who would like to attend. Yeah. If you don't have a mini close to you but there's another one in a different state or somewhere that might not be your area but it's the closest available one nobody's going to get mad that you show up you're not going to be like oh you're not from here you know yeah. the only reason you won't be getting in is if like I don't know you do LOR no I'm just playing <laughs> <laughs> yeah. joking Jordan calm down hey, if, they, if they let me into SoCal then I mean anybody can get in anywhere so yeah yeah, I did a show of hands, and there were several, several LORs there. That's great. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, again, John, thank you very much uh, for doing everything that you do for the Minnesota Mini. And then, like JR said, we'll get pictures from you, some videos if you have them, that we can throw in throughout the, the podcast. Um, you can send them to the group chat that we got, or I guess it's up there. Um, the group chat that we got going, just send them there and then we can get everything in for you. So. And then before we go, I have to do this because I really wanted to do it. Ready, John? Oh, just... <laughs> <laughs> the mini G. I want to go on top of the TV. You want to go on the top of the TV? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Well, thank you guys for uh, listening and watching. Oh, and thank, thank you, you for having me. On the show. Really appreciate it. You want to say bye, Jordan? No, no, I was just waving. Like, <laughs> hey, I'm little. Do you have a pitch shifter too? Huh? Do you have a pitch shifter? Make my voice really small? No. Or high? No, this is only Zoom. It's not that fancy. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> what do you think we are? Professional triers? Yeah. <laughs> think we know what we're doing? <laughs> yeah. We're lucky we could move up there. Yeah. Bye, folks. And thanks for tuning in to my show. <laughs> <laughs>